So I'm having an absolute nightmare with this wall. I'm a squeeze up to the front of the building and squeeze all this on itself. Right guys, so I just started insulating in this column. Hi guys, so what I'm going to be doing next is I'm just going to be sorting out this bottom course of block work here, checking the DPC in, uh, sorry, checking the cavity tray in, and sorting the little cavity tray out with insulation all around this corner, and then I will be building up the block work on the internal skin and then starting the outside external skin. Right guys, so we were waiting for the building inspector to come originally to tell us if we could use a stretched out cable uh, walled tie um, to go across there, but he said that wouldn't suffice, we'd need to source 350mm uh, wall ties, which I have, stainless steel, they're a bit different to obviously the wired ones, they've got like a weird channel, drip holes with the, uh, holes in it either end to release water, and they've also got a bit of a and notch there so when the water runs across it drips off either end so these are 350 mil that was what I was proposing before which was 330 mil um, so I'm going to put a couple of these in but because the wall is tied in to the steel there and there I'm going to be putting two two in every other course and uh, that's going to hold all this 400 wide wall together So these 350 mil wall ties are not cheap. I managed to find 26 of them, which is just enough for the job for 40 quid on eBay. Um, so I'm selling some spares, but to buy a box of these, 250 of them, they were looking between like 450 plus 500 pounds with VAT on top. So you're talking half a grand for 250 ties, which is unbelievable. They're about two pound each, which is, doesn't seem a lot, but when you don't need 250 and you only need 30, uh, it's quite expensive. Okay guys, so just like I tied into there before, um, all I've done on this one is I've used a contact adhesive spray, spray to the metal to hold that in place. The foam, um, I'm just cutting little squares out when I need to, ready for, or rectangles, not squares. I'm just slipping the plastic on like that, holding it in place, fixing it in, and then adjusting the sleeve where it needs to be, pull it out slightly, cover them in water, and they'll tie in all the block works of steel doing it either side on every course and then also I've just noticed I forgot my tie by there which I can put in now I'll just pull this up and put it in um, but yeah that's how we need to go I'm glad I thought I was sticking with something with the thingy what did you stick on before with then? nothing I just used the rest uh... that's why it's all wobbly I've used the, the contact adhesive now. Mm -hmm. The first one I put in this, I took back out. Fuck me. It went <laughs> compressed air inside it. That's press hard of you.
and then just pull that. So guys, as usual, I've got the really hard jobs and I am now cleaning out the cement mixer because that is all that Reese will trust me with. A lovely clean cement mixer. All right, guys, I am struggling to keep my height to the line. You can see it's about 10 mil difference there. Um, and as I'm wearing tree keeper down, you can see I get a bit of a wonk in my wall, which is no problem. Um, all it means is when I get to like the final course at the very top, if I can't pull it out over the next few courses, um, I will have to just trim a couple of blocks down just to bring it to the correct height. It's not so bad that the inside skin's high because if the outside skin's high, that means these ties will fall down downhill away from property like natural uh, drainage um so yeah that's what we've got done this afternoon it's just started raining so i'm just having to clean up now and we will jump back on this another day i've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day Right guys, so I'm having an absolute nightmare with this wall. Um, it's kicking up and down, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. No matter how much I'm trying to keep my beds as small as possible, I'm almost an inch out too high up here. Um, and same over here, I'm about 20 mil out. So the next course, I'm gonna have to just rip like 20 odd mil off and then get the line back in and start all over again from there. Where it stays way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright There you go Yeah guys, it's the reality of uh, living in Wales uh, One minute it's uh, lovely and next is raining, right, Ruth? Yep. Right, guys, so the last of you would have seen me having a really bad day. Um, all this block works up and down and is about 15 to 20 mil too high out of gauge. So I've just done a set my laser level, catch it on the uh, brick over there to the right height. I've just measured through now. My brick is. 210 so i need to cut my next row of bricks oh my next row of blocks i keep going on bricks my next row of blocks need to be 200 mil rips um, and that'll bring me back to gauge for the rest of it and i should be okay from there can i say why that is because people might not understand why you why because did, i didn't really understand why it mattered right so there's a few reasons why i need my gauge to be right one for the ties to tie in two for when i get to the roof level everything needs to be sort of level around the, the steels and everything and it, otherwise it's just gonna be a nightmare and another reason is if you can see how the walls are going up and down like this as this block work is kicking up the end square to the block so the ends kicking out so although my corner is square the block work is kicking back and forth all the way down so it'll be fine for docking and dabbing over but if this is face block work um, it'd be a nightmare I'd have to knock it all down Right guys, so whenever you're doing some sort of sawing or creating dust, you want to make sure you're wearing the correct PPE. As you can see, I got a dust mask on, goggles and ear defenders. If you're not going to wear goggles or ear defenders, definitely wear a dust mask because the silica dust is really bad for your lungs and uh, it's not going to be good for you in the future. 
Also, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like and comment down below what you're enjoying so far. And I'll catch you in the next clip. Hey guys, so I'm just building up this pillar, just taking my very slow time, making sure it's all plumb and level, which every single corner is. Um, I squared up to the front of the building, I squared all this on itself, so I'm just slowly working my way up, putting these ties in every course as usual. I just need to carry on the foam now, um, and then I can carry on flying up. Alright guys, so once again, just putting the insulation in behind the cavity tree, uh, take it all the way down then we can get a few blocks on the outside corner set in, and then that's pretty much the entire outer skin all started, and uh, we just start working our way up from there. Right guys, so I just started insulating in this column, um, on the plan it shows 100mm this side, 100mm that side, and then 100mm across the back, which I would have left like a 20mm gap in the middle, so instead of that, I just put three layers of 100mm from front to back and as you can see it finishes off just perfect so that's what I'll do going all the way up there and that's uh, that's the plan also when you're cutting PIR insulation guys use a mask because you'll see all this white dust flying everywhere it'll get into your lungs and back of your throat and it's an absolute nightmare but that's, uh, that's our block work column for now Hi guys, so the next step I'm going to do now is I've finished off the cavity tray detail over there. I'm going to run my first course of external block work across here just to get it started with the weep vents in. Um, as you can see, I've strung a line from a block over there which I've leveled and given the height, and I've taken all the way along this uh, orange string line, if you can just about pick it up on the camera, to the very corner over there. So when I take this through now, my block work should be straight all the way through corner to corner. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, so just started raining just as I finished up the corner now. So I'm just gonna protect this, uh, finish pointing this corner around here. Once I've done that, I'll protect this corner as well and just wrap it up for the night and we will carry on tomorrow. So once again guys, if you like the video, go down below and give us a like. And if there's anything you liked about the video, give us a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, a couple of downpours later guys. Managed to go up to the top, just work through it. Uh, 
So I'ma fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience. One day at a time is how you operate a cadence. A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man. I'll take it.